Where's the president? Uh, where's the leadership? Uh, we're prepared to do difficult things, but he must be a part of it. So Democrats and Republicans in a standoff over spending, and there is a critical deadline looming. The president has not shown enough leadership. President Obama made the following statement, and I quote, he said, I hope some of those folks who are hollering about deficits and debt will step up because I'm calling their bluff, end quote. Well, I'm stepping up. But we're not seeing anything from the White House. This budget that's presented to us comes nowhere close to living within our means. The White House is now proposing $6 billion in extra spending cuts. It's a drop in the ocean. We've got to cut spending and uh, live within our means. We'll never have the kind of job growth that we need and that we deserve until we get our fiscal house in order. It's killing us. This is killing jobs. I want to find ways to make it easier and cheaper for the private sector to create jobs. You know, the key is having the kind of policy at, at the national level from a legal tax and regulatory standpoint that encourages this investment. Not waiting through government uh, red tape. You can't be for job creation if you're against the job creators. Millions of people are still out of work. That's no recovery. Rising gas prices could delay an economic recovery even longer. Gas prices shot up so far, so fast, is it gonna put the economic recovery in stall? The national average for a gallon of gas in this country now $3.51. It's the highest price in two and a half years. Responsible domestic production will reduce our energy prices, create jobs, improve our security, raise revenue to pay down debt. What we need to do is supply our own energy, drill offshore, get into nuclear, uh, uh, enhance the coal, the clean coal technology. I literally have 15 seconds, Senator Alexander, and I wanted to ask you about gas prices. They could go as high as $5 a gallon. Is it time for the president to open up the strategic reserve? Not the strategic reserve. I'm buying an electric car tomorrow, and that's going to give me the patriotic <laughs> pleasure of plugging in and not sending not sending money overseas to people trying to blow us up. What we need to do is to find more of our own energy, and that means explore offshore, that means explore in federal lands for oil and natural gas, and it means explore in Alaska. If we'd have gone out there and aggressively drilled three years yeah. ago, we would have a lot more domestic supply than we've got now. The Government Accountability Office uncovering billions in waste and stunning amounts of overlap. We have duplicate sets of bureaucracies doing exactly the same thing. This kind of abuse is and, and duplication is, is typical throughout the federal government. Listen to this, you guys. A new report found that the U.S. spends more than $5 billion on redundant government programs. Well, another report found that the U.S. spends more than $5 billion on redundant government programs. <laughs>